Good afternoon, everyone. Global warming is now going to turn parts of Europe into a desert by the end of the century. Brought to you by the same publishers from the London School of Economics that committed fraud and stole 9 million pounds by publishing and asking for grants using other people's work. Drought indices over the last 35 years across Europe. And The Guardian hosting another article, Worst Mediterranean Drought in 900 Years, Human Fingerprints All Over It. But when we look back in longer time scales, on the right side, I circled in yellow where we presently are. You see those other two circles below the line? Those were mega droughts that were somehow missed in this study. Please remember to click that subscribe button. New study out claiming that global warming is going to turn parts of Europe into a desert. By the end of the century, it also claims that average temperatures in the region have risen by 1.3 degrees Celsius since the late 19th century, well above the world average of 0.85, although, I'm sorry, the average rise of temperature is now 0 0.04 based on the lower tropospheric temperatures. And that only with the magic of the IPCC keeping everything within the 1.5C global goal, we can assure that the Mediterranean ecosystem will stay within the bounds of the past 10,000 years. And I'm thinking, wow, who's going to be really in charge of that? And which single individual is going to tell the temperature, hey, don't change in this part of Europe? All of these projections are brought to you by those folks at the London School of Economics who swindled 9 million pounds in climate fraud by publishing other people's work, claiming it as their own, and getting grants for it from rival academics. They never talked about global temperatures and sunspots, even in the medium or interim term going back meh, to the 1600s. Now, there's no correlation in heat spikes and droughts and uh, sunspot count. That wasn't added into the models. Looking back at the last 50 years, though, focusing over Morocco and southern Spain, a bit larger here for you, you'll see that there's been drought since the 50s going off and on again. But they keep talking about this 900-year time frame and this 10,000-year time frame. Here we go. I have something that goes back to the 1315s for you. So when you look through Europe right around 1616, 1921, looks pretty dry there already. I don't know how much drier it can get when they're calling the thousand year mark and especially 1893. So the whole article focuses on this image here. This is actually from Palmyra, which is that area where they have the incredible amount of thousands and thousands of acres of greenhouses. But the entire meds going to become this and the entire European continent is going to look like this after this mega droughts through if we don't pay taxes and get right into that 1.5 C threshold. Guardian unloading worst Mediterranean drought in over 900 years, fingerprints all over it. And I'm just gonna smash this article and say, you did not go back and do your homework on this one. This is the longer term going out a full thousand years. And I'm gonna match this directly against your article claim of 900 year drought. We're gonna specifically take a look at the 1430s Compared to today, I've encircled the important areas on the chart. The far right is where we are today, specifically over Europe. If we go back to the 1400s going left on the chart, you can see that mega drought. Right around 1050, they totally forgot those two droughts that are far more severe than today. So I don't even know how they're able to print this and be taken seriously when there's so much information out there that shows to the contrary of what they just printed. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Changes are upon us. Guaranteed our climate's changing. It's not from CO2. It's from variability of our star that goes through cycles. We are heading into a grand solar minimum. You're going to need to keep your nutrition up when you look at Europe and look through the droughts, the plagues. And just the history of what's come through there and how many people were sick. Main thing during these grand solar minimums is your immune system, keeping it strong. Jump over to GetTheT.com. I personally use the D365. I must say it's taken a lot of the sluggishness away that I did have. And it does seem to be detoxing something out of my body right now. 
Please remember to click that subscribe button and I'll keep more research like this coming to you.